the coronavirus hasn't been kind to choirs. Think about it. You're packed in together, breathing deeply, mouths open wide. It's a recipe for super spreading. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Choirs can't sing together over video chat either. The internet introduces about a half second delay, making it impossible to sync up. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's worst choir! Wow. <laughs> but in 2009, way before the pandemic, Grammy-winning composer Eric Whitaker figured out how to build a choir without having the singers in one place. This idea I came up with was pretty simple, that I would upload a video of myself conducting the piece. And then people sat alone in their rooms and followed my conductor's track and sang along to it. If they just uploaded all of those videos and I started them at the same time, this choir would have to emerge, a virtual choir. One hundred eighty-five singers participated in that very first virtual choir. I got the, the final video back and I immediately realized, oh, this is so much bigger than I'd imagined. That video went viral. In the years since, Whitaker and his team have created more virtual choirs, each one bigger than the last. 2,000 singers. 3,700. 8,000 singers. But those were just barbershop quartets compared to his newest piece, Virtual Choir 6. 17,572 singers from 129 countries. It's the biggest virtual choir ever assembled. It was only when the, when the COVID crisis started that we thought, actually, if there was ever a time for one of these virtual choirs, it would be now. In March, with all his performing and speaking engagements canceled, he began writing the music. I was inspired by what I was seeing around me people in isolation, and I wrote the, the music and words to this very delicate, simple piece called Sing Gently. He recorded an accompaniment video to guide the singers and set a deadline for singers to turn in their recordings. I was one of them. Singing all by yourself, on camera, with no other voices to smooth the rough edges, you feel like an idiot. I hope Eric doesn't listen to mine by itself. <laughs> oh yes, I, we, we all felt that. Whoa. As I got to know some of the other singers, I realized how inclusive a virtual choir can be. You can live anywhere in the world. I'm in Surrey in the UK. Oh, nice. I'm in Antigua in the Caribbean. Together. Maybe you're five years old, or 87. Maybe you're blind. Maybe you're deaf. Alexandria Wales signed the lyrics instead of singing. I did this as a personal reflection from how I was feeling at the time, with everything that was going on in the world, feeling that sense of isolation. I wanted to express that in my language, which is American Sign Language. You might not expect Ashley Baloo Bonama to be in choirs at all. She has cystic fibrosis. Catching even a cold could be devastating to her health. It can be pretty lonely, though, in this sense of extreme, extreme isolation. And I think that's where the virtual choir really comes into to play into its most benefit. Sing Gently was a means in which we could still feel like we were contributing to something and creating something amidst all this destruction and uncertainty. With each virtual choir you've done, the number of participants keeps going up and up and up. So are you like secretly thrilled inside? <laughs> are you like, this time 17,000, next time the world! <laughs> It's the exact opposite. The irony is that for every virtual choir, we pray that the numbers will be low. Because on the back end, it is so much work. You, you need to listen to every single video. 
Yes, they watch every single video submission. Ah, I dropped on the soprano! That way they can weed out the ones with technical problems. Hello. Every usable recording winds up in the finished piece. With only six weeks until the premiere, the engineers work on the audio first, mixing together the recordings of 200 singers at a time. Meanwhile, a graphics specialist creates the computer animation that incorporates all those videos. The finished song premieres on YouTube today. It's about three minutes long, plus seven minutes of credits. It looks like this. Now, is there a downside of making choirs this way? Yeah, so the, the downsides of virtual choirs are legion. A virtual choir is, is this gorgeous, delicate, ephemeral artwork. And what's beautiful about it is that it will exist for all time. But singing together in a room, taking that first breath together, and then singing together, I mean, nothing beats that and nothing ever will.